welcome back to Broken Sword number one. Time to begin the investigation. Why does this guy have five lumps on his head? It was a statue which had fallen from its place on the wall. Five fingers of stone projected from the back of the carving. Can I put it back on the wall then? The statue was too heavy to lift. It overbalanced into the sand. Well, I might as well just put it back then. Because I'm too weak. I need to lift weights. As I swung the stone upright, I noticed it had left a pattern of holes in the sand. Wow, that's... That's a very perfect pattern. The five fingers on the back of the statue had left their impressions in the fine sand. Those holes look just like this. There was a pattern of five holes arranged on the wall. They'd been drilled there deliberately. I placed my fingers and thumb into the holes in the wall. Nothing happened. Jeez, I don't know. If I were you, I wouldn't just stick my fingers into random holes in the wall. Clearly, clearly random holes in the wall is where you stick your penis. The sack contained a fine white powder. Maybe this will help me think. Let's do some lines. As I dipped my fingers into the soft white powder, I realized what it was. Plaster of Paris. I'd used it in kindergarten to make casts of animal paw prints. Oh, okay. So it's not drugs. Okay, then. Well, I do have this wet paper towel. Hmm. Or towel. Maybe not. I guess that's not good enough. So I just poured it in powder. I sprinkled the plaster on the sand until the holes were filled. Yeah, squeeze that nasty-ass black water out. The trickle of water was quickly absorbed by the plaster. Wow, and it's instantly hardening, too. That's, that's really nice. I eased the solid piece of plaster from the sand. Underneath, it had formed a perfect copy of the statue. Well then, let's stick it in the hole. Giggity. The hardened plaster cast fitted snugly into the five matching sockets. There was a soft thud, then silence. Into the breach once more. Well, I guess we're back under control of Nico. Oh, looks like we have a message. Is it a death threat? Is it someone trying to help me? I had messages waiting to be played. Is it George? You have three messages. Hey, Collard, it's me, your favorite editor. Uh, guess what? I'm gonna give you a second chance. I need somebody to write the TV column. Pays lousy, so what's new? If you're interested, drop by the office. In fact, drop by the office anyway. We have to talk, Nico. That story of yours I spiked. It won't go away. You've made some dangerous enemies out there. 
Hey, Nico, it's your old pal. I, I mean, your new pal, George. Whoa, Ireland. <laughs> it's a whole different country. And I got some amazing news for you. Gem of a story, in fact. Oh, oh. It's literally a different country. Yeah, here's got a drink lined up for me. See you tomorrow, Nico. Slonsha. Yep, only here for a day, and I'm speaking the lingo like a local. Mademoiselle Coulard, this is Amel de Carchon. I wanted to thank you for being so understanding when... Come to lunch, why don't you? Tomorrow. I might have more news. There's a Monsieur Merlon coming to see me this evening. He says he knows why Pierre was murdered. In fact, he'll be here shortly. I shall let you know what he says. Goodbye, dear girl. Till tomorrow. Merlin? My God. Merlin's the killer. I'd better get over there and warn her now. When it came to being two-faced, Imelda was up there with the best. I owed her nothing. But I couldn't just let her die. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, so she'll be dead before she I gets arrived out. to find the Palais Royal courtyard deserted. I only hoped that I'd beaten the assassin here. I had to warn Imelda before it was too late. Can I climb up this thing? I'm pretty sure that's how he got up here. Fix tight. Presumably to stop critics stealing it. Who else would want to? I unhooked the first wire. Yeah, let's ruin his escape plan. I released the second wire. Even with both wires removed, the statue remained upright. It was held in place by wires. Hmm. People say, what's the point of modern art? I say, isn't it obvious? Yeah, can I climb it? If I could deconstruct this, I could deconstruct anything. plastic sheet was thick and strong. I'd need more than my hands to tear it. Really? How fucking sturdy is the plastic? Uh, can I show an elephant through it? Um, no. Um, no. Uh, what do you want me to put through the hole then? Um, no. Um, no. Magic bullet casing? Of course. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting clowns. Because I can't use her phone to call the police. My god, I'm too late. Or is she just drunk? Because I don't see any Elder. blood. Oh no. Nico? Don't worry, you're going to be alright. You know that isn't true. It was Merlin, wasn't it? Dressed as a cavalier. Absurd. You came to warn me, didn't you? I must be crazy. Let me see you, Nico. All this time you were just using me. Which one is the real Imelda? You are an extraordinary girl. Thierry would have been so proud of you. You didn't know my father. So like him. Something about the eyes. I wish we'd had time to get to know each other. 
has gone. She cheated me, lied to me, used me. But why? Well, let's look for clues. Even in death, Imelda looked the same. Beautiful, inscrutable. The Ice Queen alone in her ice palace. I opened it. Inside was a tiny gold key. I took the key. I had to leave. I knew I could never return. I, I guess the key's not for here. Maybe it's for that underground lair. Well then. Will I use the key? Will I go to that guy, the news office? Find out next time.